Hi folks, thanks very much for joining me. This is my home beat, so this is what I would um, generally come and fish once a week or a couple of hours. If I've been at a meeting and I've got some time left, I'd come here. This is the Aylesbury stretch of the River Avon on the Salisbury District ticket. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Right folks, what I've done is I've, I've set up two rods. The first rod is the Hanak Superb. This is a 10 foot for a three. And it's with my traditional um, Euro Nymph that I used in my visit to the Nather. If you haven't seen that video, why don't you check it out up there? And uh, I've put a 2.5 millimeter Mary Nymph. So 2.5 millimeter is the tungsten bead that's on the fly. It's on a Jig Superb. It's size 18. If you want to know how to tie that fly, I'll stick that up on the Insta bar as well. Um, so as, as I look behind me, you can see it's a very slow moving piece of water, but it is quite deep. So between five and six feet, but because it's so slow, I can afford to put a much lighter nymph on, hence the 2.5 millimeter bead. Now, Amesbury is a lightly stocked fishery, uh, but, and there's a good head of wild fish and there's also plenty of grayling which are now in season so I'm hoping to get a few of them today. I've also set, off a, set up a dry fly rod off camera there and uh, we'll be getting to have a look at that later on. So let's see if we can't get one out of this slow pool. It's uh, actually the 1st of July and what, is, what does that mean to us as anglers? Well certainly as Salisbury and district anglers what it means is that we're now allowed to fish nymphs which uh, just seems normal, you know, there's nothing rising, fish nymphs, go figure. But you know, we've got to wait till the 1st of July and here it is. So um, I'm go I've got a nymph on and I'm going to see if I can't catch one of the, one of the nice fish out of this weir pool. Just imparting a little bit of movement into the fly just to try and induce a take. And with the polarized glasses on, I can see perch um, circling my nymph and, and trying to decide whether to take it or not. Just give it a, an extra lift. Right, we've had a little bit of fun with the nymphs, had a, a, a trout and a grayling, so uh, there's just a few fish starting to stick their heads up. So I've swapped rods, I've got an Orvis, uh, this is an eight foot six for a three, and uh, I'm gonna try and catch them on the dry now, uh, before moving on. Let's see how we get on. Okay, it's very important when you're, when you're fishing um, quite still canally like water, is to degrease your, your leader. I use uh, Hunt's Original Mud, it's, it's, uh, you can make your own and people do, but this stuff uh, is the best I've come across. And I've made my own in the past, but life's too short. So I use this, it never dries out. Uh, you stick it in the garage and it's just the same as when you uh, get it back out. It's, it's perfect, I really like it. So degreasing the leader is really important. And I like to degrease this, the first sort of foot just to get that tippet under the water.
Well, um, I've been on the nymphs, had a couple of uh, smaller fish, and then I went to the dries, didn't get anything to the dries, went back on the nymphs, and first cast, I picked up this little, little cracker. Sometimes when you're uh, nymphing, it, to impart just the slightest bit of movement in your flies as they're coming through, just tap in the rod with your thumb. Just move, there's enough movement in the fly. So although it's a tiny movement up here that you're seeing, the fly is moving quite a lot. and I can see my indicator juddering away as I'm tapping my thumb. Some people prefer to do their forefinger, but for me, that generates too much movement. So, you know, each to their own, you'll find your own way, but a little tap of the thumb just imparts a little bit of movement into your fly. Well, um, I've put a squirmy wormy on and I, I can't recall not getting a bit of action every cast. We've had perch, grayling, brown trout, I passed the rod to my daughter. Uh, it's just been amazing. And uh, I've just caught this fantastic grayling I wanted to show you here. Uh, they do live in them deep holes, you know, and uh, you don't know what you're going to pull up once it goes down into the darkness. And... Here we have a pretty decent, even grayling. Stunning fish. I'm just going to get them back now. Well, uh, what an epic, epic morning sport. We've mostly, we, I went onto the dry flies for a very short period of time, but we've had such fun with the nymphs. There's been a load of grayling, there's been a load of brown trout, and there's been even some perch, which we've had a bit of fun with. Sasha's had a go of the rod, and she's been doing most of the filming today, so I'm, I'm very grateful for that. Only cost me 10 pounds. Cameraman of the century. <laughs> so we're going to have a bit of lunch and then afterwards I'm hoping that with a bit of heat in the day that the fish will be a bit more inclined to rise. So we might get a few on the, the dries this afternoon. But in the meantime, we're going to get tucked into our co-op bought lunch.
meal deal. Well, this afternoon, what we're going to do is try and target some rising fish. Uh, walking up, there's plenty of fly life coming up. There's still even the odd mayfly, believe it or not. But um, there's not much coming up to claim them. So we'll stay vigilant and hopefully we'll see a few rising fish soon. Uh, what an absolutely superb day. I've had my daughter out filming with me and I've caught a load of fish. First of July, best day of the year. You're allowed to use nymph, you're allowed to use dry fly. I've utilised both today in order to keep my sport carrying on. So when fish came on the rise, the dry fly rod came out. When there was nothing rising, I got the nymph rod out and continued to catch. What a fantastic day, caught some fantastic fish and uh, a topper of a grayling amongst them. If you've not subscribed to the channel, please think about clicking the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Right, a bit of a serious message now. We've just, me and Sasha's just had lunch and uh, look what we've done. We've got all our stuff in a plastic bag and all I'm gonna do next is this. Make sure you bin your shit. We don't want it lying all around the parks.